What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to get Oh My Posh set up for WSL and of course Linux if you're running Linux. If you choose to run this on Linux, for example, pulling up PowerShell, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Ignoring the background as that's the Windows terminal, this up here is the Oh My Posh setup. Essentially, it's replacing the original command line here. If I cd into app data, for example, you can see we're navigating folders here, or of course, changing to a different drive entirely, etc. That's what we're going to be setting up today for Ubuntu WSL, like this here. And of course, if you're running Linux, this setup will apply to you as well. For example, I've gone ahead and fired up a brand new terminal here using the preview version of WSL, just to make sure we're back at the default state. Obviously, the wallpaper here is from a Windows terminal. And if you're following along on Ubuntu or something like that, just make sure you open up a terminal and we're ready to type. On the omiposh.dev oh website located down below, you can click get started here and on the left select Linux under installation to get exactly what we need to do. Omiposh oh uses ANSI color codes under the hood. These should work in every terminal, but you may have to set the environment variable term to xterm256 color. You can just run set dollar sign term equals X term as such. That way, when you run it, you should see response like this. Anyways, to display all icons, we recommend using a nerd font. Simply heading across here gives you fonts, and we can use Oh My Posh font install to install a specific nerd font. Checking nerdfonts.com, you'll see exactly what they are. Essentially, they're normal fonts, but with tons of icons added to them, which will make the whole terminal look a ton prettier. In my previous video, I went through a list of these on a GitHub page. We can head across to downloads here to pick a font and download it. But of course, if you want a preview, in the description down below, you'll find a link to a GitHub page with a ton of them listed. It'll be the Oh My Posh GitHub. When you've found one, we can simply use this command to install some fonts, but we'll get back here later on. For now, let's install Oh My Posh. They recommend using Homebrew, but you can also do it manually, though just note that it assumes that you're on AMD64. They do have support for ARM and ARM64, so you'll need to change the Posh Linux Arch accordingly, replacing this Arch, such as AMD64, with ARM or ARM64. If you don't know your processor, run uname tag M, and it'll tell you what kind of processor you're using. x86-64 is AMD64. Anyways, so let's run the first bit to download and install Oh My Posh. We'll go ahead and paste them in, hit enter, and just like that, they'll be downloaded and installed. When it's done, we'll head back and download the themes here, which you can view on the themes page, and we can scroll through it to find something that we like in particular. So I'll run this next command to download themes in the background, and we'll scroll through some of these. But unfortunately, unzip wasn't found. We'll need to apt install unzip first, so sudo apt install unzip clear. Let's try running that command once more. There we go. Right, now they're installed. Okay, so scrolling through this and finding a theme that you want to use is pretty simple. Obviously, it'll take a bit of time and you can, of course, customize these later on. So just find something that you generally like. For example, cinnamon or maybe clean detailed. Clicking it takes us across to a page with all of the GitHub code for it. We can customize this later on, add to it, etc. But all we really need is the name here. So what we need to do next is install a font, then configure our terminal or editor to use the installed font and configure your shell to use Oh My Posh. Optional, configure a theme or custom prompt configuration. Okay, so first of all, installing a font. If we click that font link, we get taken back to here. We can run Oh My Posh font install, and when we do so, it'll download a list of fonts that we can travel through. I'm going to be using Fira code. I'll hit enter, and just like that, it'll be downloaded and installed. Do note that this step is only required for using Ubuntu as your desktop and messing around with the terminal there. For WSL, these fonts need to be installed on Windows instead. When you You've downloaded and installed the Fire Code font, for example, which we can get to using Nerd Fonts here. Then from Nerd Fonts to the download section, we can search for Fire. There's Fire Code. I'll download it here. Then all we need to do is open it up, unzip all of these into a separate folder, then right click in that folder and choose Install. But I've already done that, so I'll skip over it. Now that we have a font selected, what we need to do now is configure our terminal to use it. On Linux, obviously, these steps will differ for whatever terminal you're using. On Windows, however, click 
click the drop down here in the Windows terminal, then head to settings inside of here, scroll down under profiles until you find what you're currently using. I'm using Ubuntu preview style selected and on the right hand side, we'll scroll down, head to appearance and inside of here, we can change the color scheme in the Windows terminal and the font face. I've got it set to fiery code NFM retina as that's the one that I want to use. Cool. When we're done with that, we can save and now heading back here, things should look a little bit different. Now that we have a font downloaded, installed and active, let's go ahead and activate a theme. So clicking the custom prompt configuration down here, it'll take us to the customize section on the far left and we'll see how to activate themes here. This however is for PowerShell in Windows. For Ubuntu however, you'll need to use homebrew such as this down here. This over here, if we used brew to install it, we'll put in the location of our Omoposh installation. However, if you did a manual installation, instead of copying and running this command here and editing the theme on the far right, you can use ls followed by tilde slash being home dot posh themes and you can see all of the themes currently installed here. For example, I wanted to use what was it, clear code, clean detailed, that's what it is. I'll copy this and we'll use it just now. So the command to activate it is eval omoposh oh in it zsh config followed by the path to the actual image so i'll copy all of this however it's currently set up to work with the zsh terminal we're not using zsh here by default we're using bash so i'll just head down a little bit paste in the command and instead of running it we'll edit using the arrow keys to change zsh to just bash and for config we'll replace this brew prefix oh my posh with tilde slash dot my posh themes and removing the themes folder here. Now we can change the name or leave it as is and you can see we've activated a theme. I didn't want this theme here. Instead, I want clean hyphen detailed enter and there we go. Now I'd recommend selecting and copying our previous command here as we'll need it just now. So if I were to clear, things would work perfectly. We now have the new theme selected. However, if I open up a new terminal, new tab or any like that. For example, here's a separate terminal. It's not active. We need to run the command again for it to show up. However, that of course is quite annoying. To get this to activate every time we open up a brand new terminal, we'll need to run sudo nano tilde slash dot bash rc. If you're using zsh, it'll be zsh rc. But bash rc is the default, so we'll be editing this. Inside of here, we have all of the default parameters for your current terminal. And at the very end, scrolling down with page down and using the arrow keys to get all the way to the very end of the file. Now, all we need to do is enter the command to activate the skin. For example, this one here. However, if you run into an error or an issue where this isn't working and you installed using brew, you'll need to activate brew first. For that, you'll find an extra command in the description down below, being this one here. However, I didn't use brew, so I'll control K to remove that line. And with this setup, the next time we open up a new terminal, things should be activated straight away. So control S to save and control X to close. Now, if we close our terminal completely and open up a brand new one, you should see that as soon as it opens, we have our theme here set up as we are used to. It really is that simple. Should you want to change the theme later on, once again, sudo nano tilde slash dot bash rc. At the very end of this file, we can change the theme that we're using up here. So for example, jblab underscore 2021, control s x and running bash to reload. There we go. We've now got things set up as we hope. Anyways, we're pretty much done here. You now know how to install this on WSL and of course on Linux as well, should you choose to go that way. From here, there's tons more that we can customize that I won't go into. For example, segments for using specific programs and things like that. This program gets incredibly in depth, but that's out of the scope of this video for now. Anyways, if you'd like to set this up on Windows and you haven't already seen that video, in the description down below, you'll find a link to it. These two link together quite well. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.